Well, good morning. Cindy Eric's here again. Back with the Sacred Journey. Session 7. And I'm, I'm in the bamboo garden next to the waterfalls, but there's been a lot of activity in the neighboring properties this morning with the blowers going and the neighbors talking. So I don't know what background's going to come up while we're doing this this morning, but I wanted to do it now while the day is young. And uh, it's beautiful out. I started out with a short sleeve shirt on and I quickly put my sweatshirt on <laughs> because it is chilly. I don't know what it is. It might be 55. I'm not sure. But anyway, we are still in the first chapter of uh, Song of Solomon. I hope you are enjoying it. Um, so first chapter, second verse. So kind are your caresses. I drink them in like the sweetest wine. Exclamation mark. The Shulamites cry. Now remember, the Shulamite is you and me. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. Okay? And if you don't not clear on any of all that with the Song of Songs, Song of Solomon uh, book in the Bible, then go back to the very beginning, first couple of sessions. Or if you have the book, of course. Start, open it up from the beginning, right? And look at the introduction, because the introduction helps a lot to understand this. Like I said, for 20, more than 20 years, I did not understand it, and I kind of avoided it. Anyway, I avoided the book, but it's amazing. It's amazing how it is all about Christ's love for us, you and me, everyone, okay? So the Shulamites cry. For kisses. And remember what we said about kisses. It's a kiss in the spirit. It's not, it's not really a mouth to mouth. There goes another machine. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to talk over it. The Shulamites cry for kisses brought him near. Oh Lord, kiss my spirit. Kiss my spirit. Come near to me. Come near to me. Uh, this is not going to be good. I'm going to have to start it over. All right, I'm going to start again. I'm not really going to start again. I'm just going to pick up where we left off. So the Shulamites' cry for kisses is us crying out for God to draw close to us in the spirit realm. Which, that's the way he does that, <laughs> by the way. She prayed to the Father that the king would come with kisses. He appears before her. And now she speaks to him directly. So kind are your caresses. I drink them in like the sweetest wine. Exclamation mark. The love of Jesus is the most pleasurable thing to the human heart. It totally is. Nothing is more delightful and nothing can compare to the caresses of his love. And I am living proof, my testimony, over and over and over again. There's a word play in the Hebrew here. It's similar to a pun. The word for kisses and the word for take a drink, parentheses, of wine, is nearly the same word. And, you know, I'm studying the, the Hebrew, the Jewish uh culture and the Hebrew words and it's like uh, I can't remember the exact numbers I just read this morning actually and it was uh, there's like 800 words in Hebrew there's 4,000 words in the English language so something like that anyway some kind of comparison like that so it's very interesting it's very interesting the Hebrew language I only took one semester of it but I didn't learn very much except for the how to recite the very beginning of the Bible, Genesis. The implication, as seen by ancient expositors, is that God's lovers will be inebriated with his love. That's why it says like wine, right? By the intoxicating kisses of his mouth, which isn't mouth, it's spirit to spirit. Wine is a symbol of the pleasures of this world, See Psalm 104 and 15. His better than wine love is more pleasurable than any blessing known on earth. 
The wine of this world cannot touch me like his love. The pleasures of his love, they are pure and they are clean. The joys of a thousand worlds cannot compare to the joy of being with Christ. If only people knew there was a sweeter, cooler fountain to drink from. I'm quickly reminded of the Samaritan woman at the well. The living water. It's far more refreshing than anything this world has to offer. This intoxicating love of Christ. Haven't you found his love delightful to the depths of your soul? And I hope your answer is yes to what the author asks. And if it's not, I pray that it will. And that you will experience that. And you will know what that is. And that you will ask him to, to, to receive it. Drink in this love. Drink deeply of the passions of his heart. Receive this mystery deep in your heart. Yeah, it is sure a mystery. God loves you in the same way that God loves his son. Wow. The measure of the Father's love and affection for Jesus is the measure of Jesus' love for us. Quote, I love each of you with the same love the Father loves me. Let my love Nourish your hearts. And that's referenced in John 15 and 9. The love of the Father for his Son in all its intensity is the same love the Father has for you and me. Celebrate. Yeah. Celebrate. This is the ultimate statement of your worth. Jesus left everything. Jesus left everything everything to make you his own can you drink in the sweetness of that thought unmerited love unmerited love he has loved you freely without requiring anything in you to attract such love he sought you he brought you he brought you back to himself you can say to your friend capital F Jesus is our friend. So kind are your caresses. I drink them in like the sweetest wine. The Shulamite is seeing the absolute truth of this in her life. All is empty apart from him. Eternal love has gripped her heart. Eternal love has gripped our hearts. She will no longer be led astray by the pleasures of an empty world. The world is empty empty fullness has overwhelmed her she must know this love that is better than the wine of love that he pours out for her do you want to know this better than wine love i have i do i will continue to i want more and there's always more as pastor matt stone says at my church at capital city church in tallahassee there is always more I pray today that you seek more. I thank you, Father in heaven. I thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding our, our every thought, God. Oh, Lord, let us receive from you. Let us receive that from you, that deep, deep love, that, that sweet, sweet kiss in our spirits, Lord. Fill up the empty places, Lord. We love you so much, and we thank you for this marvelous day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I pray that you have a good one. They're at it again. I can hear the noises in the background. I hope it hasn't affected the video much. I will soon find out. God bless you. And don't you know, I love you, but he loves you so much more.